In this video, we will install WordPress on a domain name using Plusk WordPress toolkit. This is the domain name. Let us visit the domain name. Currently, the website have a simple test page. Let us log into the Plus control panel. Once logged in, click on website and domains from the left menu. This is the website. To install Plus, click on WordPress toolkit. Click on install WordPress. We have the installation path here. First, there is HTTP and HTTPS. We need to select HTTPS. The domain is auto filled. Then installation path. If you put a folder here like blog, then your WordPress will be installed in a sub folder. I need the web WordPress website shown when I visit this URL, not a sub folder like blog. I need WordPress shown in this URL. So we don't need to enter anything here the, in the installation path. Leave it empty. And then website title, you can change that after the installation is completed. Plugin theme set, you have some default settings. We can install whatever theme after the WordPress is installed by logging to WP admin area. So let us keep it none. Uh, then you have the option to select languages and the current version is 5.8. This is the latest version. Now we have the option to set a WordPress admin username and a password. You need to copy and save this for future use to log into WP admin. To copy the password, click on this eye icon that will reveal the password. You have the database. You don't need to save this because it will be saved in wpconfig.php. Automatic update settings. WordPress will be automatically updated and you have the option to enable automatic plugin update and even theme update. Click on install. The installation process started. You can see the progress here. Click on detailed progress. Okay, the installation completed. After the installation is completed, uh, it will show a pop-up asking you to install plugin. If you need to install plugin, you can click on install plugin. Otherwise, click on no thanks. We will click on install plugin. Here it lists many of the plugins you can install. Uh, we are not installing any plugin. There is another theme option. You can install themes also. For now, I will click on the close icon go back to the websites and domains now click on wordpress toolkit it will show your wordpress installation you have one installation on this site if you click on this open link it will show the wordpress installation this is the default installation let us go back to the plus again and see the other settings you have the option to see the plugins and if you want to install something you can click on this install this hello dolly this is a default plugin installed on every WordPress site. You don't need this because it is not doing anything. It is just a sample plugin. So we will remove this. Click on the delete icon. Click on yes. Here you have an auto update setting and check updates. Let us click on check updates. It is checking for update. There is currently there is no updates available. Under the theme tab, it will list all the theme currently installed. There are three themes, two of them inactive. This one is active. It is better to keep only active plugin and themes. In this case, we have two unwanted plugins. Let us delete both. Let us log into WP admin. The URL is the domain name slash WP admin. Then you need to enter the username and password. Click on login. Here you can manage the WordPress plugin by clicking the plugin. Then click on install the plugin. We list all installed plugin. We have one inactive plugin. To install a plugin, click on add new. Then you can select whatever plugin from the list here. If you want to search for a plugin, you have the option to search. These are SEO related plugins. You can install like by clicking on install now. Same way for the appearance. We have only one theme right now. Click on add new. So let's install one of the theme. Let's go with Astra. Click on install. We have installed a theme. This is the default 2021 theme. Let us activate this Astra theme. For that you have two ways. One way is click on this themes link. Then you will see this 2021 is active. To switch to this you can click on activate. Before activate you can see the live preview. This is how your site will look after activating the plugin. Click on activate and publish. Let us go to the website and see the look. 
yeah it is changed to asta wordpress theme and that is how you install wordpress in plusk server using wordpress toolkit thank you for watching if you like the video please subscribe for more videos like this